Alright, one last cold start. We're in the back 40 here. We're gonna go and try and uh, fire up the old forgotten cutlass that apparently everybody has got hate for. I guess they figure it'll never hit the light of the road or they don't have faith in what I can do or what I can accomplish. So, we're gonna uh, go ahead and see if we can fire it up and have a battery in it. So, I'll go ahead and see what we can do with it. And uh, she looks pretty cold. Windows are a little frosty. Got it. Got pretty chilly last night. So, um, go ahead and see what we can do with her. The poor old Sal. Uh, I'll put on my lucky hat. That usually makes vehicles always start around here. Anyway, well, we'll go ahead and see if we got her. Uh, got some ignition. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick walk around of the car. Um, so yeah, this is <laughs> this car developed quite a bit of hate. You guys are really hateful. Anyway, a lot of you guys think that I can't really do anything with this. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I beg to differ. And actually, uh, about a hundred and maybe even a thousand other people do as well. I mean... The car has rust, but it's not perforated, so, you know, it's it's surface, but nobody has faith in me. I do plan on replacing these two fenders because they're the worst out of the whole whack. I don't really want to deal with anything like that. Plus, the, the cost to replace new fenders really, really cheap, right? But I don't care for Bondo or body filler. My glass is fine if you're filling in a hole, like in a wheel well or somewhere where it's really low. But I mean, I really don't want to put body filler on this. Well, actually, I have to, but I mean, I don't want to use body filler on this. But um, for something like this, I'd use my glass instead. It, it's harder. It's, yeah, it, it's just better all than, it's better overall than Bondo. So... Because what I can't stand is body filling something and all of a sudden a year or two later you have cracks in it from the cold or the heat and blah 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 or the vibration of the car. You know, the underside of the car is solid, but it's just, you know, you got surface here, you know. It'll have to be sandblasted and uh, touched up and whatever. Like all this surface rust was here when I bought the car and I knew about it because... You know, I looked at the car with a fine tooth comb and decided, well, you know what, it's not really that bad. I am going to replace this door, however, because we do have a little bit of a perforation there. But, <clears throat> a lot of people hated this car because I guess they figured I couldn't really do anything with it. And then it was an eyesore. Well, yeah, I can agree with you about it being an eyesore, but... You dump a couple checks into her, hey. Dump a couple bills into her, you can make it into a nice family sedan that people wouldn't mind driving around in. So, and that, and it's a cutlass, right? So, you know, of course the car, the inside is actually fairly decent. It's just a little dirty, you know. Uh, you know, adequate trunk space. I took the wheel discs off it when I bought it because I didn't want them getting wrecked during the winter. So, you know, the trunk is a bit dirty. Um, brand new tires with it. You know. door is frozen. You know what I mean? Like, this is the only drawback. I guess somebody split this and decided to put in a little bit of a, I don't know, some sort of sealant to try and keep it together, I guess. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Other than that, like, I mean, it's not the worst car out there. I've definitely worked on worse. Anyway, go ahead and fire this up. It's a 305 small block Chevrolet with 139,985 uh, kilometers on it. So, like I say, a uh, lot of hate over the years about, with this car. You know, people think it's you know pretty well a done deal, that it's pretty well should be destroyed, but I mean, eh, you know what, I've dealt with worse, and it's really not that bad. Of course, what can make people turn is that right here, this is the crossover flange for my crossover pipe 
and it rusted out and one of the bolts let go. See here? This is uh, causing that awful exhaust noise, that tr -tr -tr -tr, you know what I mean? So maybe that's why people think that it should be taken away and you know, like my girlfriend would probably say the same thing and agree with half of you hateful people out there, but we're gonna go ahead and start this unit in real time here. Uh, one pump because uh, well, radio works um, because um, well I had it running last night like I mean the exhaust is loud but it starts on a dime and it's got a massive leak right here because of that that donut right here you actually see it right there your exhaust gas are escaping right here It's not so loud when you have the hood closed. It's a little quieter. So anyway, like it's, uh, the body is solid on it. It's just got surface rust. And it's, you know, the fender should be replaced on it. But I mean, for the price of that, it's not so bad. This door, really. <laughs> it's probably a better idea if I just leave it. It's froze shut. But anyway, like I mean, this is all just surface. You know, which is minor. Little surface here. That always did happen with most vehicles. So I'll fix that up. Give it a quick sandblast. And then, you know, I mean, the back doors are decent. The driver's door needs to be replaced, I would say. You know, that you can get anywhere. They're getting a little difficult to find, but, I mean, the back doors are decent quick little sandblast there. I would definitely um, sandblast everything. I like to take the doors off and do inside behind the doors as well. You know, there's a reason why I didn't start this project right away, and that's because it really did need extensive work. Like, uh, like here, for example, there's a hole there. But, like, uh, like I wouldn't have brought this car here knowing if it was too far gone. The floors underneath the car are solid, mint, mint. Underneath the whole car, just the frame rails are just perfect. And for 137,000 clicks, it is solid. It's a solid car, it's just the paint has been neglected. <coughs> and I've owned this car for six years, so six years come April is when I brought it home. And uh, like I say, after sitting for six years, you know, the weather has really taken a toll on the paint. Because in retrospect, this car did look a lot better. The rust was still there, but the clear coat really took a beating. Like, the clear coat wasn't anything like this when I first brought it home. You know, there was surface here, though. Windshield doesn't leak, but that should be fixed right away. You know. So, to all you haters out there that don't like the car, you know what, you guys are entitled to your opinion, and I respect that. And I actually respect hateful comments rather than uh, decent ones, so, um, because I like to hear stuff like that. So, uh, it kind of, it actually, the hateful comments actually gives me the the uh, enthusiasm to actually try and, you know, go forward with even rustier crap than this. So keep spewing your hate out there, ladies and gents. I really do appreciate every bit of it. Anyway, but after sitting for six years, you know, well, I can't really say it's that six years, because I have started it at least once or twice a month. The engine's not seized. The engine still runs great. The tranny still runs great. The brakes are shot. You know, I think there's a brake line that was gone on it when I even bought it. But, you know, <laughs> so, I mean, everything runs. Choke works. You know. So, anyway. But, I think the bottoms of the door, you know, the bottom here of this door is actually pretty decent. I guess it was the passenger door that was getting a little crusty looking. So, who knows, maybe we'll, I'll replace both the front doors and uh, do a little bit of, both the front fenders and do a little bit of body work to it. I have faith in it. 
I mean, I wouldn't have brought it here if I known that I didn't couldn't do anything with it. I think I can do something with it. Anyway, lads and lassies, that's it on this car for the year. It'll be staying here until I get some uh, projects completed. Uh, this year, I wanted to start in the fall, but I never did because I took on other projects. So I really have to uh, get my derriere in, uh, in gear here and finish up the 85 before I take on anything else. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If, uh, if we uh, do get this thing going, it'll be here in the early spring and we'll try and get something done with it as soon as possible because uh, I'm kind of getting sad looking at it like this. I mean, look at the frame rails. Like, the frame rails aren't even rusted. You know what I mean? Like, wheel wells are pretty decent, you know? Like, the whole underside of the car is great. You know? Take a quick gander under. You know? The pipe looks even fairly decent in here, but the crossover is really gone. Rockers are solid. Anyway, let's shut that off, I think. Burgundy interior. I mean, it even starts good. It fires right up. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, lads, hope you're having a great Saturday afternoon. Don't party too hard. And, uh, well, if you are, that's okay, too. Just don't mix your drinks. Don't ever, ever, ever mix drinks. If you're going to start with Budweiser, you finish with Budweiser. If you're going to drink wine, you finish with wine. And the same wine that you started off with. Because if you start mixing drinks, you're going to feel like s in the morning. Not only that, you're going to be really sick. Trust me. Take it from me. Anyway, lads and lassies, you guys behave yourselves. We'll catch you later.